Hey guys, so in my last video, um, my hair care routine, a lot of you guys loved the lipstick I was wearing, which is this right here. Um, and this was actually what I was going to use for my Valentine's Day tutorial anyways. Um, it's Girl About Town from MAC, and they also have a lip gloss for it. I used to have it and I lost it, um, but it was really pretty on top of it. Um, NYX, I think, probably has like a similar color, if you guys want to check that out. So since a lot of you guys asked, I thought I would answer in this video. And then um, also, you guys loved the shirt that I was wearing in that video, the cow print, and I got that from Forever 21, and I believe it was $11.50. Um, so if there's anything ever in a video that you like that I'm wearing, whether it's makeup or an outfit, please ask, and I will most definitely answer in my next video. Um, right now, I'm going to show you my outfit of the day. Um, this could be a Valentine's Day outfit as well as a Valentine's Day look. I did film this look, um, however, I don't know if it's going to be posted or not. Um, let me let me know, a uh, thumbs up or a comment below if you want me to post it. I haven't really done a makeup tutorial yet, and I filmed on my video camera, so I'm still getting used to it, and it's not the best that I can do, um, because I have to figure out, like, the mirrors and all that stuff, but let me know if you guys want to see it, and I will definitely post it, and you guys can let me know what I can do better on that. Um, my exciting news that I said I was going to let you guys know is I'm moving. Um, it's my first time moving out of my family's house, and um, I get to move all by myself, and I'm just really, really excited um, to have to be able to do this, and I'm just really grateful. So that's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for the approval for the um, place that I'll be moving into, and I got it. So it's mine, and I moved the 13th the day before Valentine's Day. So I was really looking forward to doing another Valentine's Day outfit for this year. I'm so sorry that I sniffle all the time. I don't know what's wrong, but I'm going to try and stop. Um, anyways, um, I was going to try and do another Valentine's Day outfit video, and I'm trying to do that. But uh, I don't know if I'll be able to this year because I am moving and I have to get a lot of stuff situated. My room's a mess. Everything's a mess and unorganized. So I have to get everything organized throughout the week. So I don't know if I'll be able to film. Um, I hope I get to. If not, there there's going to be way more filming in my new place um, and hopefully more often. So I'm very, very excited about that. And... Um, yeah, that was my news for the week uh, that I wanted to share with you guys last week but didn't want to jinx it. So now I finally it's official and I get to move on the 13th. Um, so um, with the HCG, I'm down 12 pounds, uh, not 12 pounds, I'm sorry, 12 inches. Um, it's more so inches than it is pounds, so that's going well, and there will be a video update on that. Just thought I'd let you guys know for any of you guys wondering, and then I'll have a more you know, have a video specifically for that. So getting into the outfit, um, I usually don't do orange and black together, but um, I actually thought this sweater looked fine with these tights, so I hope you guys like it, and I'll probably voice it over. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye. So I got this shirt from Forever 21. It was about 11.50. I love the color, and I love the bow in the back. I would actually wear a strapless bra with this, and it's pretty warm, so it's a good thing if you know you're going to be eating outside or something like that. So this is what the whole outfit looks like. The tights are from Arden B as usual, and these shoes are just to die for. I got them from Baker's, but they are a wild pair. They're actually pretty comfortable. I think they're around 180 something, but they are amazing.